really good weekend. End of a Im important stretch in our program schedule with a 12 game homestand. It was important for us to take advantage of playing home and getting back in, in, in the thick of things in the big 12 standings and to get our team hot and in position to go for a good run here in May. And I thought we did all those things. Tim, go ahead. Hey coach, this was an interesting series. It was, it was kind of a mismatch, but what, what did you gain from this three game set this weekend? You know, you're right. It was a mismatch. It was, um, something I really couldn't avoid with, with a late shuffling, reshuffling schedule by the big 12 office office. It really did, didn't do us any favors. So, um, so with these kind of weekends, you just want to add to your depth, uh, get some guys, some game experience that haven't played in a while. It's going to help you be a deeper team in the last three or four weeks and, and get your bats hot, you know, and, and also expand some guys roles and, and give them a, give them a little, basically a dress rehearsal to see if they can, help us in certain situations. For instance, you know, Eli Dale, we've converted him from an infield to, to a pitcher and we want him to be more of a presence at the back end of our game. And it was a good, it was a good stretch and a good weekend to see if he, he's able to do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's these, these, these weekends are tough, but you know, they, they can get your offense going and uh, provide some confidence, much needed confidence. But I think our guys, went into the weekend swinging the bats pretty good on, from Tuesday night. So all in all, productive weekend. Can never apologize for winning, that's for sure. Yeah, you mentioned confidence. Uh, I mean, just getting out there, making contact, you know, moving runners around, hitting the ball over the fence, that just has to be a huge benefit to, to anyone swinging a bat. Yeah, there, there's a lot of confidence out there. And even doing it on Friday night, and, and knocking their guy out on Friday night who had really good stuff. You know, that carried over from Tuesday night where we beat some, some, some guys from Missouri that had good stuff, you know, but there's nothing like getting hits and hitting home runs and hitting three run home runs that, that get your offense going and feeling good. Thanks coach. Yep, thanks Tim. Adam, go ahead. Coach in the second inning, Kakaska got that home run to get the team on the board with two outs. How big do you think that home run was at, home run was at the time? Well, you know, that they they threw a left-hander in, in a kind of a soft style guy that take, took took some getting used to. So, you know, when, when Zach came around and um, hit that ball out, it kind of just, it took some pressure off the offense. Some, sometimes when, when, you throw that style of pitching, it can really frustrate you because you're trying too hard and it's not overpowering, but I've seen those guys go deep in the game. So Zach's home run was, was big for our offense to know that, we, you know, make the, make the appropriate adjustment and, and, and be productive against that style. How nice was it to have Kikoska make that highlight play of throwing out the runner at some point in the fourth inning to help keep that one run lead? Uh, it, was, it was really good catch and release right there, as good as I've seen him do. But, um, that's right there. But, but for me, the highlight of the game was, you know, Chad Shade, you know, in what's going to be his last college game, get his first start on his last college game, and the hit home run in his last collegiate at bat. That's that's a moment that's will be in my top ten coaching career. So, with without anything else being said, that. That is at the forefront of what I experienced today. That was just phenomenal, you know, and, and a great message to our program and our kids moving forward that our program always pays off loyalty, hard work, and team first guys. And that's what that exemplified today. Michael, go ahead. Yeah, Pete, you mentioned with Tim uh, confidence. Has it been a little bit of that with? focus, maturity, that's been the key to getting uh, better baseball out of these guys the last few weeks? I think so. And, you know, no one hit the panic button, button you know, and you, know, you got really good, you know, work skills and the preparation's on point. Sometimes you don't get the result, but you get some kids that have had success in the past. So, so, so when there's a drought, you know, you never, you never leave you never leave the fact that you're a good baseball player with great work ethic and the game will always come back to those guys. And, uh, you know, this last seven day stretch offensively, it's, 
it's it's been all clicking you know and just like it's uh it's contagious when when you're not swinging the bat it's contagious the other way around and we've seen both sides and this is a much easier way to coach and play so but the key is the key is to keep them on, especially on the road, you know, when you get out of your friendly confines and then against quality arms, which we'll see certainly here the, the next two weekends, that's for sure. And with a little bit of light opposition this weekend and no midweek game, if you got to kind of maneuver what you do midweek this week, uh, five inning scrimmage, what do you do to kind of keep the guys edge and focus? We'll have some guys that, ha that haven't thrown that didn't get on the mound this weekend throw live to hitters that haven't had enough at bats this past weekend. Uh, we'll do that. But as far as on field time, we're, we're going to start cutting that drastically. I usually do that in May. You know, if you're not fundamentally sound by now, then you're never going to be fundamentally sound. So we'll be less on the field and more in the weight room so we can be strong in May and June. And is the rotation from this weekend status quo for next week or do you know? Um, I think that's the way we're going to go with it. Yeah, McCullough, Wicks, and Ford for next weekend.